Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Just on here, this is going to be a really quick message. I promise you guys, I always say quick and it's like 30 minutes long, but this is going to be really quick. And this is just backing up the, the word that I gave you guys yesterday, how the Lord is getting ready to bless so many of you. Like so many of us are going into a season of abundance. And I stressed in yesterday's message, if you didn't watch it, go back and watch it. But I stressed in yesterday's message how God stressed to me how important it is to stress to you guys and stress to myself to be humble with these blessings and to be forgiving. Um, but humble, being humble is a very big deal. And he actually had me think of like some of my past actions over the course of this year. And guys, God is like the clapback king, okay? And for those that don't know what a clapback is, it's just like when someone, I can't even explain what a clapback is. I guess I could have looked it up on Urban Dictionary. Please hold. I'm going to pause you guys so you're going to see a jump in this video. Thanks for holding, guys. Okay, so a clap back is like a quick, sharp response to criticism. That's what it says on Merriam-Webster Dictionary. I didn't know how to explain what a clap back was because most people would be like, what's a clap back? And I know what a clap back what is, is, but couldn't explain it. To you guys so I had to look it up so clap back is just like when someone says something and they're like usually opposing something right and you have like the quickest response and it's always like that response is like boom like it's just like it's like the response to Trump responses okay so God to me is like a clap back king okay and I say that because I talk to God like he's my friend like he's my homeboy because he is my homeboy he's my father but like I talk like he wants us to come to him like we're friends right because he's he's everything right so even though he's my father like I literally like he's my best friend so I talk to him like if there's something I don't agree with like you guys I will have a full conversation out loud in my head however with the Lord if I don't agree with something or don't understand something and I I, I do ask him questions and it's okay to question God it's okay to ask him things he wants you to ask him right so anyway I just like Today, he just was putting on my heart, like, how people are to have a humble spirit, you know? And this season of blessings and abundance, to be humble is a very big one, you guys. And again, he brought back some um, experiences that I had. And because I keep it real on my channel, I'm going to share those experiences with you guys, okay? So don't come in my comments like, yeah, you got to be humble, this and that. I know to be humble, guys. But this is just to share with you guys how... Even Christians, followers of Christ, people that love the Lord, people that fear the Lord, we mess up sometimes, okay, guys? And I keep it 100 on my channel. Like, I'm not walking around just like a Bible thumper that never does anything wrong. Nope, I'm not perfect, okay, guys? We mess up. We all fall short of the glory of God. I say that in a lot of my videos because um, some people walk around like, as soon as you give your life to God and you die to self and you're walking in your calling and he has you prophesying that you just become perfect and you don't, you don't, you just choose to walk in the way that God has set before you. You choose to obey the Lord. You fear God. So you renew your mind, right? You choose to renew your mind daily throughout the day, because that's what it takes to, to follow God's commandments. Okay. Because we are not perfect. We have to renew our mind daily and his grace and mercy renews daily like his grace and mercy from yesterday is not sufficient for today so he renews his grace and mercy on us daily okay guys it's renewed every day um so we're not perfect okay we just choose to follow Christ to die to self we fear the lord we want to walk in his ways we want his blessings we want to make him proud so we choose to obey him okay but i'm not perfect i mess up sometimes and that's just the reality of it okay um it's not like once you choose to walk with god you forget how to curse people out i still very much know how to curse someone out guys i still know all the curse words i still know all of them you just choose not to do it because Pleasing God is more important than pleasing your flesh. So I keep it real on my channel, guys. Um, so 
Yeah, that's what we're going to do in this quick, short video. And I'm going to try to keep this at no more than 10 minutes. So cheer me on, guys. Um, but being humble, you guys are walking into a season of blessings, of abundance. Remain humble. Humble, humble, humble is what the Lord keeps stressing to me. Because the same way he's about to give you all of these things, he can snap his fingers and take it away from you just that quickly. Um, so don't forget that. And don't forget where your blessings are coming from, okay? They come from God, okay? Even with tithing, you give your 10%. You're technically not giving him anything because any money that comes into your account, it's his already before it hits your account. He's giving it to you, okay? So you giving 10% of what he gives to you is not giving him anything back. You're just being obedient and you're showing him how much you appreciate what he does for you, okay? There's not enough money in the world, enough tithing in the world that can pay God back for what he's done for us, okay? That's a totally different story, but you can never pay God back because he's too great, okay? You can't afford to pay him back, okay? He paid, different story, we're not even gonna, because I'll start preaching, guys. But he brought me back to um, one time earlier this year, right? I was in Walmart, and I got in line, this lady had this cart full of stuff, clothes, toys, all this stuff. And she's telling me and the cashier, like showing us what she bought for her boyfriend, what she bought for her daughter, what she bought for her grandkids, a whole bunch of stuff, guys. So as she's talking, she, the cashier is ringing up her stuff. Stuff comes to like a little over $100, right? I hear God clearly tell me to pay for all of her stuff. So I look in her car, like I look over in her cart, guys, and I'm like, Lord, there's not even food or anything in there. Like these are all like things for pleasure, like they're clothes and toys. I was like, this, this isn't stuff that's a necessity. So I'm like, you want me to pay for all of this? Then y'all, this is a conversation I'm having with God in my head in the line at Walmart, okay, behind this lady, hearing him clearly say to pay for her stuff. But again, I'm asking him, like, are you sure? Because I don't see, like, bread, milk, cheese, like, you know, the normal stuff that we assume people need if they're in need, right? So the Lord clapped back. He was like, look in your own cart. Is there anything in your cart that's a necessity? So, guys, I look in my cart and I'm like, no. Like, it's all, <laughs> it was all stuff that I just felt like I needed, guys. It was like hair products. Uh, makeup brushes, random stuff, guys. Random stuff that I just felt like I needed at the time. Some tank tops, nothing that I really needed, okay? So I'm like, okay, God. I'm like, if I'm hearing from you, let her card decline. Lady swipes her card. I'm sorry, your card has been declined. I'm like, what, Lord? I'm like, <laughs> this is me in my head, guys, talking to God. I'm like, if it's meant for me to pay for her stuff, let her card decline again. And before she swipes, she's like, no, this it can't decline. Like, I just got paid. All my money's on the account. So I'm thinking like, yeah, all her money's on the account. Like, this card is not going to decline. Swipe again. Let it go through. Lady swipes her card, guys. Decline. I said, okay, guys, if I'm really hearing from you, let it decline one more time, <laughs> guys, because I really, I was like, you really want me to pay for her stuff? Basically, I was being disobedient, okay, guys? I, I was being disobedient, and that's what it was. Um, whenever there's something that I really don't want to do, I ask God to show me, again, that he's speaking to me, right? I pretend like I I don't really know he's speaking, even though I know his voice very well. But I'm like, am I talking to myself? So it was. this is me being disobedient, guys. That's just what it is. So lady swipes her card again. The card declines. So lady gets ready to walk away. And finally, my disobedient self stops her. And I'm like, ma'am, I'm going to pay for your stuff. And she's like, are you sure? She's like, I, you don't have to do that. She's like, I can go check my balance. I'll be right back. I'm like, no, I'm going to pay for your stuff. I said, because God told me to pay for your stuff and I have to be obedient. I, I really, I literally told her just like that. I'm like, God told me to pay. I have to be obedient. I said, I'm going to pay for your stuff. She says, thank you. I pay for her stuff. She leaves. It's my turn in the line. The cashier was like, that was so nice of you. And I was so honest with the cashier. I'm like, ma'am, 
God told me over and over to pay for her stuff. I said, that was only God. I said, because I was not going to pay for her stuff. I said, that was strictly the hand of God. I said, I was just being obedient to what he told me to do. And mind you guys, and this video is going over 10 minutes, so I'll try not to make it over 15 minutes long. But partial obedience is disobedience, guys. And even though I paid for her stuff and God still showed me so much favor, so much grace, like he's paid me back so much. And not just from that one experience, guys, but I've been financially blessed this year in a major way. And even with my partial obedience, which is disobedience, he still, I repented for what I did, by the way. When I left the store, as I'm pushing my car, I was repenting to God because I knew better, okay? I'm not a, a, a newborn Christian. Like, I know that I was being obedient and acting as if, like, I didn't know I was hearing him. And Lord, if this is you, let her car decline. I knew it was him, guys. I just literally couldn't figure out why God was making me pay for her stuff and I didn't see any necessities, okay? That was none of my business, okay? And one of the definitions under humble, if you look up the word humble and the definition, one of the definitions listed is unassuming, okay? To be humble, you cannot assume that a person has to look needy or has to be um, in a, what am I trying to say? Help me, Holy Spirit. Don't look for a person that looks needy to feel like that's your chance to be humble. God will call you to help someone that may have more money in the bank than you, okay? They may have more money in the bank than you. They may drive a better car than you. You're looking at God like, why do you want me to pay this light bill? Be unassuming, okay? Look up the definition of humble. One definition under the word humble in the dictionary is unassuming, okay, guys? Do not assume that God is always going to send you to help people that look needy that look like that looks like they're in need that needs to pay a bill sometimes he will have you pay for a, a cart full of toys for someone's child have you pay for a dress that someone's purchasing at macy's or something and the person is dressed to the t and you can tell like okay they look very well off financially he will still have you step up and do what he's telling you to do he's not going to always call you to help someone that looks needy guys. And that's something he wanted me to share with you guys and release. And again, I keep it real on my channel. So that is a real life experience, guys. It makes me laugh now that I think about it. But I'm so grateful that God is so, he he's so merciful. Like he's just so awesome and so loving. And even though I ended up being obedient and buying that lady stuff, I was partially obedient because it took him to show me something over and over for me to step up to the plate which is disobedience, okay? It's disobedience. I repented and he still forgave me. He still loved me. He still blessed me financially this year. This happened earlier in the year, guys. He still blessed me, okay? But do not let it get to that point. Partial obedience is still disobedience, okay? When he tells you to do something and you know that you heard his voice, step up to the plate and do it because in this season of him blessing you with the harvest and with fruit, he is going to ask you to help someone that may not look like they're in need or to help someone that has wronged you, oh my gosh, so many times in the most horrid way and he's still going to ask you or may ask you to help that person. You can't assume that God's only going to send you in one direction. That's putting him in a box and our God is not a God that can be boxed, guys. He's just not. He's not a God that can be boxed. Okay, even with my testimony, those of you that have been following me for a while, um, when I spoke about a dream God gave me, or no, he spoke to me in the wee hours of the morning and I heard the name Brittany fourth quarter and I ended up meeting a Brittany like an hour after I posted that video. And before I even met this girl, Brittany, in the store, the Lord told me to pay for her coffee, right? He told me to pay for her coffee as she was in the line. So she's standing in the line. She forgot her money in the car, runs back to her car to get the money. And I'm looking out of the window. She's in like this beautiful Mercedes Benz, guys. At this time, I didn't know this girl's name was Brittany. And I didn't know that God was going to use me to minister to her. So I look at her run to her car. And I'm still waiting in the line to be called to the front. But I'm like, 
God, are you sure you want me to pay for her coffee? Like, she's driving a Mercedes. I'm like, I don't think she wants me to just, you know, pay for her coffee. And I wasn't saying it to be selfish. Like, I would was going to pay for her coffee anyway, but that was just my response. Again, guys, I talk to God like he's my homeboy because he's my homeboy. He's my best friend. He's my father. But that's what I said. And he was like, pay for her coffee. So... He didn't have to tell me twice, okay? I hadn't already learned my lesson from before. I was like, okay. I said, I'll pay for her coffee. Ended up paying for the young lady's coffee. And as the cashier was um, checking her out, the cashier said, okay, have a good day, Brittany. And the Lord ministered to me right then and there. And he said, that's that's Brittany. Go, go give her the word that I gave you to release on your channel for Brittany. Okay, that was all in obedience, guys. Our blessings are on the other side of obedience. And if you don't understand something, you can always ask God, you know, all right, well, God, what's the reason for this? Or what's the, like, you can ask him questions, but guys, partial obedience is still disobedience. So when he tells you to do something, don't act like you didn't hear or God, give me a sign. Show me this, show me that. You hear him every time, every other time, except the time that he tells you to do something, just because you don't understand it, you question it. No, the definition under humble is to be unassuming, guys, unassuming. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Um, get ready for your blessings, but be humble, be humble, be humble, be obedient to his voice. If he tells you to step up to the plate for someone, don't assume that, oh, they don't look this way, so my money's not going to help them or whatever's not going to help. Them. Don't assume anything, guys. Sometimes he'll send you to go up and hug someone and you're like, Lord, they look way put together. They're not going to want me touching them. But you don't know if that's the only hug that that person has received this whole year and all year they've been praying for God to send them someone just to give them a hug, okay, just to feel that touch, that comfort. And it's just that simple, guys. Like, we don't know. Him asking us to step up to the plate and to humble ourselves is not going to always be us having to pay for things for people. It could be a simple, you look beautiful You look beautiful today, or I like your hair, or, you know, just God may just tell you to smile at a person and it makes their whole day. This could have been a person that was contemplating suicide, but because you smiled at them or said, you know, they look nice today or, oh, you have a nice smile, whatever the case may be, you just saved their life. So be humble, guys. The blessings are coming. I'm so glad I got to share that testimony with you guys. Again, don't judge me in the comments, guys. I am a giver. I have a huge giving heart. I just sometimes will, if it's something I don't, want to do or don't understand, I will act like I don't hear God and tell him to give me a sign. And I've worked on that, guys. I <laughs> I know that I hear from him, but that's just, you know, God knows my heart. I have a very pure heart. I will give somebody the shirt off my back. But again, partial obedience is still disobedient. Even if you don't understand or feel like the person is in need, listen to God, humble yourself and do what he's telling you to do. Be unassuming. All right. That's all I have for you guys right now. I love you and be blessed. Bye.